Warning, this video contains doll nudity of the 1-6 scale variety. These dolls are the Japanese variety. Japan is not afraid of the human body. To put it bluntly, Americans are afraid of boobs. So to start off here, I was going to do a simple, um, what's the word I'm looking for, comparison of the many different bodies, as I think it'd be helpful, because when we were deciding on bodies, there wasn't much for good comparison photos. So to start off, 27 centimeter pull-up, type 1 body. Stock, Stock pull-up body. Knobby joints, screws in the back, really knobby looking knees. I like their knees. Very they also have floppy arms. Yeah, they have very floppy arms. This one's more floppy, I think. I noticed the torso is quite short on her. I like it. Type 2 has the soft bust, but had a common problem for melting plastic. Oh yeah, uh, it has a Always looks kind of squished. And uh, the uh, skin does not stay in well. Pops out a lot. It's There's some more melting right off. there. And um, some printing in the back. June Planning tattooed her. Type 3 was obviously a lot nicer, but had its limited posability. Type 2 had the best posability of the stock bodies. She's wearing Hot New, Hot New York's thong for the lulls. So, nice body, nice lines, uh, but limited posability. Type 4, let's keep her wig on. Nicer lines, um, lost a couple of joints in the torso. Still limited pos posability, but the posability was better. Slightly better than a type 3. Nice looking knees. Good curves. Now we get into the Volks bodies. This is the base, right? Dolphy Plus. Okay, this is the Dolphy Plus. She has the two joints in the torso. Like all Volks bodies, she is very, very floppy. She came used. That might be why she's floppy. The new ones are quite floppy, too, though. I um, kind of they got quite knobby joints in the elbows. They're... Hands and feet pop off really easy, especially the hands, because they split right in the middle on the wrist there. So, they pop off very easily. Uh, the knees aren't too bad. They do look a little funny and bent, but like you say, that's quite loose. Keep you from rolling around. The next Volks is a... EB Beauty. EB Beauty. She's a B cup, I think. The B, yep. And she's... Nice, nice body lines. Um, no frightening uh, bulges in the center there. Definitely a bit of uh, gapping and flopping that happens here. There might be some workarounds for it. I haven't tore into a Volks body to find out. The next Volks on Hot New York is the. It's the same thing. Evie Beauty. Is it Beauty? All okay, these four are beauties. It's the same as her, but with the C cup. And then we have the EB Beauty Soft Bust, and this is the F, correct? I think so. Yeah, because I believe it went slightly backwards, F and then E. She uh, has a very large bust with uh, some detail. This is Ivy. Um, once again, nice lines, but the same problem with all the EBs. Uh, as I've noticed, very little that we've played with her on this new body. Yeah, her I think wrists she might actually be a D. I think she's a D? I think she's her a wrists D. do pop off quite easy like the others. We have an E in the package here that we're probably going to end up selling because I don't think we're going to use it. It also has detail and kind of frightening uh, breasts. Yes. Yep. And now we get into Obitsu's. This is a hard bust, medium bust Obitsu. Hard bust only came in one size, actually. Did it only come in one size? I thought it came in more sizes. Nope. Okay. It was just hard bust. Um, nice joints. Solid and good posability. Even after e she doesn't really wobble, even after she's been uh, been used and around for a while. This was kind of sporadic. Though, a little bit some of a gap. Some were really, really floppy. Like Raya's is really floppy. Yeah. Um. Once in, they get into this frightening thing that I refer to as the man bulge. Uh, it's a bit concerning. This is Rain, correct? Or Willow? Willow. That's Willow. So then we get into the ones that I like the best. The, the two-part two -part soft busts. They have uh, nice lines for the body, good posability. There is some limited movement in the chest area, but uh, I haven't found it to be too much trouble. They're very posable, and they're very willing to stand on their own, and uh, you can easily get different hands for them. 
so that's nice. We have another two-part soft uh, with just the, uh, this is the medium bust, this is the large bust on the maroon. The maroon body is a bit hard to find. Limited run. Yep. Especially in the soft bust, you and, see the hard bust around. Uh, the interesting part is, this is the two-part with the large bust. This is a one-part with a large bust, but the bust definitely appears to be a bit bigger. Not by a lot, but bigger and with more detail. But the one-part soft has, like I said, the frightening man bulge. And uh, a little bit of gapping, but it's not too bad, really. My concern was mainly just kind of the way the hips looked. The butt was cute, but the hips look kind of funny with the bulge there. But once again, I mean, we this body we got on her used, and uh, several years old now, and still poses and works just fine. Then there's my abomination, the Bubitsu, which we took the bust from the one part, cut it, and put it on a two-part soft body to create the hybrid, who is also wearing a pull-up thong from, uh, Blanche. from Launch. Blanche. 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 That doesn't sound... That's the name of a character on, uh, Dragon Ball, if I remember correctly. Well, I think it might have been pronounced Launch. I but don't... Yeah. Well, an American ones, yeah. Once again, she's very pulsable. Nice <laughs> thing is, uh, it was a little bit of a snugger fit, so it kind of gets rid of some of the gap that she had. I could have done a cleaner job with the razor blade, but, uh, I think all in all it worked out well. But also, then we get to dolls. <coughs> Ichigo is on a stock doll body. Very nice, pretty lines. I believe the Buick Decent come joints the body. with uh, some, you know, limited movement. You put panties on A few on screws her. in the back. Yes, I put panties on her. She she deserves to wear panties. Some do, some don't. Ichigo they choose like to. Panties. She chooses to this time because I said so. And then this is uh, Sha Chantilly. She is on a. Volks EB Mini, and uh, she is the what, medium bust? Um, I think she's a C. It was uh, the EB. Oh, that's right, they don't say m small, medium, or large. Um, like the other Volkses, she is fairly floppy. Her wrists pop off very Excellent easy. Face. Her feet come got. apart easy. Before we run out of time here, the 23 centimeter, two part soft Obitsu. The, this is actually the uh, medium bust. Um, like the other Obitsus, it's always got the same nice lines. Her panties are a little loose on her, so her, her butt crack is showing there. Um, this is actually a 23 centimeter large bust that we were probably going to sell because for the new girl, I mean not new girl, for Ichigo, we were going to get a 21 centimeter hard bust. We just haven't yet, so we'll see when we have that. And then you get into the 25 centimeter range, and we have Tezka, who is on a uh, medium bust, 25 centimeter. Since again, this is the same, like I said, kind of nice lines and the same curvature, but their knees change. When you get to the 25 centimeter, they have kind of a funky knee, which isn't bad and looks okay. Posability up to this point, until you get to the extra bit, looks kind of funny, but not bad. For some reason, they did it on 25 centimeters, but not on the 23s or the 27s. 25s are the most recent. Last but not least, new, new my girl Amelia, who is also on a 25 centimeter with the large bust. Once again, same lines, funny looking knees, but it's nice. And all the girl bodies come with different posable hands, which is kind of nice. You don't have to order those separate. So those are the dolls and the different bodies that we have to show at the moment. We have a fair selection. Mm. This is not all of the dolls that we have. It is most of them. It is most of them. We have well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dolls that aren't in this video. Uh-uh, there's two more in the living room. Two more? Who? Rain and, uh, and, uh... Okay. I forgot her name. There so, you're missing more two there, more. Though. So, yes, we have a lot of dolls. So, yes, that's the video that I wanted to show to give a better comparison, uh, for people as to how they no. all look. Oh, don't step on them. Um... You know, obviously we're limited time for posability for stuff, but uh, not mm -hmm. too bad. The Volks are a fairly nice body, and I'd certainly take a Volks over a stock body, but all in all, I prefer the Obitsu, in particular the two-part soft busts, mm -hmm. because they have nice clean lines, they have nice hips, they look good, and they fit most of the clothing really quite well. When you get into the dolls, uh, if it's anything more than a 21 centimeter, some of the Bratz clothing starts to fit kind of funny. 
but uh, for the most part, the 23s, they fit all the Bratz clothing pretty well. The 25s pretty much have to go up to adult clothing. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope this helps out some people that might have been having some issues. And until then, uh, we'll see other people next time. Isn't that right, kitten? Yeah? <coughs> Meow. Okay. You got it. Oh, she's happy, kitten.